Love staying informed? Subscribe now and get unlimited access to local news, weather, and sports for just 99 cents a month for your first three months at inform.news join. Read every story, listen to every podcast, and download the apps that keep you informed and on the go 24 hours a day. So head to inform.news slash join right now to subscribe. What are you waiting for? Get three months of local news for just 99 cents a month at inform.news slash join. Welcome to the Sports Minute Podcast, brought to you by the sports leader, WDAY. For more scores, highlights, and in-depth analysis, visit inforum.com slash sports. And now, here's our latest. Two teams in EDC boys basketball going head-to-head tonight with a little bit of revenge mixed in, Cullen. And the last time North and Davies met, North handed the Eagles their first and only EDC loss. Davies looking to settle that score. Visiting the Spartan Dome tonight, first quarter, Daniel York with the block on one end. He goes coast to coast and puts it away. Eagles jump out to an early lead. York had 27. North responding. Welcome to Hosa. Work on the post. Just hands it off to Jeremiah Sim. Easy bucket. But this Davies offense in transition. Mason Claybo to York for three. Davies makes it 12 in a row, 92-82. We've got more basketball coming your way in a bit, but playoffs are here for hockey. East Region quarterfinals, Davies visiting Grand Forks Central. Late second period, Dylan Lamont fires one, touches Twine to put the Knights up 2-1. Davies answers less than a minute into the third, a bouncing puck in front. Job Fryer taps it home. We go to overtime, make it double overtime. Here comes Rylan Hoffman, buries the loose puck. It's the game winner. Central's headed to the semis, 3-2, and top-seeded Red River takes care of business big time. Seventh seed West Fargo being hosted by number two South Shanley at Farmers Union Insurance Arena. Early first, scrum in front of the net. Both teams scratching and clawing, but Spenier finally slips it in for the score. Chase Bry gets a good look in the first, but West Fargo's Gavin Norton comes up with a stop. Keeps the score the same. Second period now. Jake Verwist gets his shot blocked, but Colton Nessler is there for the rebound and the goal. South Shanley wins 7-zip. Last quarterfinal. Cheyenne visiting North in the four versus five seed matchup. Already one zip in North in the second. Cheyenne with a one on O. Oh. And what a save, though, for Nolan Astrup. He had 25 Spartans with a chance. Connor Holm rings it off the post. That ends up being one nothing North. EGF dominates with a seven goal shutout and the Grand Forks girls, they win by a goal. Back to high school hoops we go. A battle for positioning in the EDC. South looking for four in a row. Shanley tries to avoid three losses in a row. This game was knotted from start to finish with Chiri Hakim working the post. Finishes with a touch hook that rolls in. Shanley in front. Then South goes on a run. Up by two. Wide open. Dean Grant nothing but net for three. South wins a close one. 62-60. Plenty more scores. Central wins by five. Wapiton wins on the road by 13. Girls basketball. Shanley over South. Wapiton beats Cheyenne by three. Eagles fly high over north and Red River gets it done on the road. That'll do it for this episode of the WDAY Sports Minute. For the latest sports coverage from across the region, visit inforum.com sports and follow Inforum Sports on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs>